What do you think uh, have been some of the keys to your success as a hitter? Uh, just a lot of hard work. You know, weight training, it's more than just hitting, keeping your body healthy and uh, you know, just focusing and sticking to a game plan, that's what's helped me. Do you have any particular approach? Is there any particular pitch that you're looking for? Or? Um, you know, you always want to get your fastball, but you know, it's more of a reaction. You don't want to go up there guessing, swing and miss and stuff like that. But you know, I just keep the same approach, just trying to let the ball get deep and see it a long time. Or um, some of your influences growing up? Uh, my father, he's, uh, he played college baseball at Quinnipiac. And, you know, he's, he's given me a bat since I was young, so I look to him and, you know, and Derek Jeter was a fan. I was a, growing up, that was a big guy in my life. Uh, how does it feel, I heard you're a Yankee fan, so how does it feel to be a, in the Mets organization? It's awesome. You know, I'm a, I was a Yankees fan, but I'm also a Mets fan. You know, I like to follow players, too. So, uh, you know, it's not that big of a transition for me. I'm, you know, my family has made the transition already, and, you know, we're really excited. It's gonna take getting used to now. The cyclone is back there, all the lights. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily think it'll take that much getting used to. You know, I've played in stadiums before, and you know, I think it's just like uh, these couple days of practices. We haven't played with the lights on, but you know, just getting used to everything and you know the atmosphere and you know, the roller coaster in the background. It's it's a nice it's nice and it's fun. Have they told you what to expect uh, playing here in Brooklyn and playing on the turf and everything yet? Or have you had a chance um, to walk around or do anything? Yeah, I got to walk around a little bit uh, before we practiced. And, uh, you know, just we take ground balls every day. We do our in and outs and we hit on the field. So I'm getting a lot of reps and just, uh, you know, getting used. I played on turf before, so not that big of a transition. But, you know, definitely not going to worry about getting any bad hops. Were you ever a teammate of Mazzilli's? Yeah. yeah, my freshman year was his senior year. So I got to play third while he played second. So I learned a lot from him and, you know, we hung out, me and his family together after games and stuff like that. So I got to learn a lot from him. Okay. Uh, can you take us through draft night a little bit, what uh, hearing your name called was like? It was awesome. It was a stressful three days, definitely. You know, you can't really prepare yourself for that. And my coaches told me, you know, there's no way to prepare for it. But to finally hear my name call, you know, called, it was awesome. And, you know, I celebrated with my family and gave everyone a big hug. And, you know, just ready to get to work now. Did you, uh, I guess I guess you always hoped so, but when did the reality, did they tell you like beforehand that you would be eligible for the draft and stuff like that? I guess talk about the transition from the college level to being drafted. Well, I think it, you know, every baseball player, especially college baseball player, the goal is to make it to the professional level. And, you know, I knew if I worked hard enough, I'd have that opportunity. So, you know, working through the three years that I was at UConn, you know, getting to where I am right now, you know, it's, it's definitely paid off and I'm really excited. Now, you mentioned third base before. So are you going to be the opening third baseman? I don't know. Uh, okay. Like like any team, nothing's promised. You right, gotta, right. You got to earn everything. Yeah. So I don't I don't know what's going to happen. But it, but is that normal your position? No, my normal position is second base, but I could also play third or short. Okay. Okay. Is there uh, any particular thing that you want to work on, uh, either your swing, or is there anything you absolutely want to work on while um, you're here? Or? Just everything. You know, I just want to be a sponge. I want to learn as much as I can, whether I'm on the field or off the field that day. I want to be able to take in as much as I can, and you know, just improve as a player overall. Do you have any uh, specific goals for this season for yourself and the team? Uh, I want to create friendships, definitely. You know, I'm the new guy right now, so I want to get to know everybody and. Uh, you know, hopefully that atmosphere of staying loose will help me perform well. Were there any uh, particular players you looked up to when you were growing up, besides from the Yankees and the Mets? Uh, well, I like I like David Wright. You know, obviously Derek Jeter. You know, um, you know, just my dad, basically. You know, hearing the stories from his old friends talking about how he played the game hard. You know, so I try to take that into my game. No, any message for the fans, I guess, to get them to come on out to the first home game on Saturday? That's going to be awesome. Great. I heard it's a great atmosphere, a lot of fans, so it's going to be a good time. And, you know, we're going to give you a good, good, hard baseball game. Uh, I saw your number was 11. Anything special going to that is what you've always been rocking, that sort of thing? Or? No, I was nine in college because my dad wore nine, but, you know, I'm the new guy, so I, 11 was like my, my next pick because you know, I didn't really have much to choose from.